Environmental pollution is currently a very important and urgent issue that needs global attention. This is a controversial and urgent situation for both governments and people around the world. At the same time, it is also the cause of more deaths and its figure keep tripling each year. The number of deaths due to pollution is estimated to be 15 times higher than that of war and other forms of violence. Therefore, the ways to limit the damage as well as protect the environment are challenging questions that the world must find solutions to. According to analysis data on pollution levels of countries in 2019, India ranked first in terms of deaths, with about 2.3 million cases recorded. China ranked second with 1.8 million cases. This is followed by Nigeria, Indonesia, and Pakistan. Even a rich power like the United States has to bear the number of nearly 200,000 people and rank seventh among all countries. In contrast, five countries on the Arabian Peninsula are included in the list of 10 countries with the lowest death rates from pollution in the world. According to a GAHP report, in some of the world's poorest countries, the number of deaths due to environmental pollution has also reached sky high levels. The main cause is dirty water, poor sanitation, and heavy air pollution. And hereafter, we will learn more about the problem of environmental pollution in India, the country with the second largest population in the world and the first in terms of environmental pollution. In this video, we will discuss the extremely complicated situation of air pollution here. According to statistics, India's emission standards are now more than 10 years behind European standards. Besides, these standards are not strictly enforced strictly. More importantly, people's awareness has not been raised along with the population explosion with more than 1 billion people in India, which has exacerbated the problem of air pollution that the Indian government is having a headache to find a way to solve it. In November 2021, the air quality measured in India reached hazardous levels. The country's air quality index has reached 499-500. This means that even healthy people are at risk for respiratory diseases. New Indian analysis shows that pollution leads to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, respiratory infections, lung cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, neonatal disorders, and cataracts. Acute respiratory infections are also one of the common causes of death in children under 5 years of age. Every year, New Delhi, the capital of India, also the most polluted city in the world has been facing very poor air quality, especially in winter with polluted air covering the capital. Anamita Rechaudhuri, the director of the Indian Centre for Environmental and Scientific Research, has said that it is not only in big cities in India that the air is polluted, but the situation is worse in smaller cities. The main culprit is believed to be the growing number of vehicles in India. While this country still has fewer cars per capita compared to developed countries, Indian cars emit more pollutant emissions because most of the internal combustion engine cars here are old and outdated. Others argue that the reason is due to the dependence on the coal industry and polluting industries such as brickmaking, which are located in many densely populated locations. In addition, this capital often suffers from the impact of people's burning of straw every time it enters the new sowing season. The same is true for people in other Indian cities. Half of the households in this country use firewood or cow dung for cooking. Smoke from these materials is the main cause of air pollution emitted in households. Another cause is pollution emitted from the use of furniture spray paint and cleaning agents and also external pollution such as dust from construction sites and traffic. These are also the leading causes of premature death in India. To ensure the health of the people, the authorities of several cities across India have installed pollution monitoring devices. 
The data helps people know the peak pollution times of the day and plan to respond and limit the harmful effects of pollution. However, many long-term measures and roadmaps are still needed to limit and minimize the harmful effects of environmental pollution. Some of the measures put in place are limiting personal vehicles and increasing the use of public transport. Prohibiting trucks from entering the city as well as densely populated areas. State agencies and offices are only allowed to operate with 50% of the number of employees. Decommissioning some coal power plants around major cities and finally banning the burning of rice straw during the sowing season. Today, environmental activists are still actively sharing their data with local governments and the public to raise awareness of the urgent need for cleaner air both indoors and outdoors. And hope that environmental pollution will be increasingly overcome in this billion-people country.